these ceremonial washings, these were in accordance with the reason for the six stone jars. It's like the ceremonial washings at Lourdes, yet God allows water to cleanse people from their sicknesses. Their souls need cleansing through confession, but Lourdes is particularly famous for the healing of the sick. They have Eucharistic processions, and it is at that time when the lame, the crippled, and people with mental disorders receive the blessing of Jesus himself and come into a healing. In fact, it was the government at the time of the appearance of Our Lady of Lourdes to Bernadette in the year of 1858, some four years after the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, the government made inquiries to disprove not only the water but also the authenticity of the apparitions. So extensive was their scientific argumentation that the church used that information to bring about the proof of the miraculous. So that's where the state and also the church work together, one hoping to disprove the church's teaching. Bernadette was very faithful and within four years of the apparition, approval by the church had been given. She was very obedient she herself had difficulty in catechesis. She failed, in fact. So God uses, and Our Lady is able to use little children to bring the light of life to everyone. When we look at what was being called for, she herself with some friends were going to collect some wood for their respective families' fires in this time of the year, it was cold. And when she went to the river and was undoing her shoes to cross it, a wind blew. And turning, she noticed that there was a golden cloud and then appeared a woman, a beautiful woman. And the beautiful woman took her own rosary and put it over her arm. And Bernadette also took her rosary from her pocket. Our Lady spoke to her over a period of some 15 apparitions. There were others that may have been as high as 18 or 19. Nevertheless, Our Lady was revealing herself to the humble and those who are less than most. And it was for penance, for penance and for penance. And when we look back to the year of 1845, which is the apparition of Our Lady of La Salette, we find that Our Lady there was also asking for penance and for sacrifices, so also in the apparition of Fatima in 1917. Our Lady was asking for sacrifices and also the rosary. But there's something other that was very needed at the time, and that was to understand that the Immaculate Conception, there is only one Immaculate Conception, and Lourdes intrigued, and a special grace was given to St. Maximilian Kolbe. St. Maximilian Kolbe would elevate the memorials into feast stage within his own friaries, memorials of Our Lady. He would go up another stage because Our Lady plays such a prominent role in our redemption. She's known as the co-redemptrix, not equal to, but necessary for salvation because God sent his only begotten son to dwell in Mary as a child of Mary. Mary was the queen. She was the one who gave birth to the king. And because of that, God had given us the universe, but first because of the beauty of this woman who he knew he was going to create. In his mind, he knew of her beauty and all creation came also under her domain when she herself was conceived in the womb of Anne. So Maximilian Colby had problems with a finger. It was going to be lanced and then effectively it may even needed part of it amputated. He was given some Lourdes water by 
He's the rector of the seminary. So Maximilian Colby was 20 years of age at the time. And a gradual, and after a few more drops of Lewis water, his finger healed. And then he started to ask, who are you, Immaculata? Who are you? He'd been given a grace. And then he started to develop an understanding. And he finally arrived at Mary is the Immaculate Conception, but she is created. And God chooses, when he thought back to St. Francis, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, to be operative with the Holy Spirit because God wants to do things this way. And we know that at the Annunciation, Our Lady received the Holy Spirit to impregnate her so that she became the Mother of God. And we know also at Pentecost that when she prayed with the Apostles, the birth of the Church came into being. The two conceptions, the uncreated and the created, the Immaculate Conception come together. The love of God comes to us with the inversion of the Holy Spirit into Our Lady and love comes to us through her. She is the Immaculate Heart. The love that she receives is the divine love. So Maximilian Colby had such a wonder that his first mass was offered for the conversion of hardened sinners, especially schismatics, heretics, the Freemasons. He loved them and he would ever, when having the chance, offer a holy mass in thanksgiving to the Holy Trinity for giving us the Immaculate Conception. He saw that through her, things came in to the love of God and that she has been given to us as a mother and that we need to extend our understanding of her role. We know that the role of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate is to marry and eyes. And we know also from St. Paul VI and also subsequent popes that the Marianization is necessary in order to become Christian. The Woods is a wonderful example of such a place where Christianization goes on and conversions go on by the millions. One of the major apparition sites in the world, people flock because Our Lady draws them by the grace to the epicentre of their faith, which is Jesus, Jesus in the Eucharist. And it is Jesus who heals, but he has his mother as the antidote, so to speak, to infuse into us a love of her son. They're inseparable. When we consider Lourdes, we consider also how this humble little girl, who no one thought would ever be seeing Our Lady, was the one who, being so obedient, was able to bring about the awareness that in poverty she had been offered money in fact, they were so poor that her brother was seen scraping wax from the floor to eat it. Yet none of her family members were to receive funds as a result of the miraculous events which were occurring at Lourdes. They relied on divine providence, but not handouts. They were people who were very simple, prayerful, and God uses such people to bring us closer. Let us recall this day that Mary, from the time of Rudabak, Mary conceived without sin, pray for us, which is the writing on the miraculous medal, was a prelude of the coming dogma. And then we had this beautiful apparition again, Our Lady appearing, consolidating the term, I am the Immaculate Conception, was something that she herself, Benedict, did not understand. But it was a thrust to get the spiritual director, the parish priest, to accept that this girl was really hearing the voice of Our Lady. And he went ahead and started to build a shrine for Our Ladies, for her son, Jesus. Our Lady is necessary for our salvation. Our Lady invoking her 
brings graces because it pleases God so much. Our Lady cleanses our petitions when we read the Word of God. Our Lady will cleanse our thoughts and present them to God immaculately because she is without stain or wrinkle and she is that without stain or wrinkle in which the divine word became man. And I say man, not a neutral gender. Jesus is all man. He came to us from the perfect woman, conceived without sin, preserved from sin and given to us as our mother. We couldn't wish for any more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.